Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. Last video, we finished up at Zami by getting the Zami Hilt at 385 KC, which means for the time being, probably for a long time, uh, I'm done with God Wars now. After that, I had no idea what to do, and even right now, I don't exactly have too many ideas of what to do, because I feel like that was kind of like a long-term goal of the account, was uh, finishing up that God Sword. Um, so we went to Castle Wars last video, and we got enough tickets to unlock over 30 collection log slots if you look in the chat box right now, which was a freaking rush, dude, let me tell ya. I know I'm not holding the Zami God Sword right now, I just didn't feel like grabbing it out of the stash unit, so pretend the SGS is the Zami God Sword. But yeah, I spent like over 15 hours at Castle Wars last video, and I've just been trying to like think of what to do. Like, for a lot of the time when I was in Castle Wars, I was just staring at the collection log, just going through like all these different tabs in here, looking at all the different things. Um, I did come up with something that we're going to start off the video with, and that is getting the diary cape uh, right here. We've been two tasks off for a very, very long time. And it's not that I don't like hunting the chompies, it's just I've never set aside time to actually do it. You may have noticed last video in my gear setup, I had the ogre arrows, because you can collect 100 per day for free from rant. So I did that the last couple days, and we have 200 arrows now, so we can go start killing some chompies. I think we'll go do the other task first, though, the one that's Fletch a Magic Longbow. All right, the task task is to fletch a magic longbow in Tyranwind, so let's see if this works right here. Make the unstrung bow, and then string it. There we go, that's the task. I was really excited to show you this outfit that I made using only stuff from the POH, um, but it turns out with the ogre bow, the accuracy effect of void does stack with it, and this mod ash tweet right here confirms it says on the wiki. And interestingly enough, if you look at the date of the tweet, it's 2019, and Song of the Elves came out July of 2019. So my guess is that those two things are related, and that when the quest came out, they probably changed something to do with how range accuracy is calculated, or maybe something to do with the Ogre Bow or something. Because uh, that's the same time they got rid of the imbues on the crystal bow and the crystal shield. So this somehow all flows into like one big conspiracy theory or something, I guess. I'm sure you can come up with something. And then we could buy the Ogre Bow back for a little bit over 500 GP, and then we can grab the Bellows from inside here. I heard they did a change kind of recently, maybe not too recent at this point, where you don't have to do the drop trick anymore, and you could just search it for, oh wow, there's like a whole, okay, you can just grab all. That's <laughs> really convenient. We have to get to 1,000 Chompy kills for the diary, and at the moment we have pretty much 300, which is what we need for the hard diary. And we have 200 arrows right now, although I don't know if that's going to get us 700 more Chompy kills. Plus, I'm probably going to want to go for the pet afterwards too, so. Not a big deal if slash when they have to make more arrows. If you don't know how this activity works, first we have to fill up the bellows, then we catch a Swamp Toad, and then it appears in the inventory, we drop it. You could just keep doing this over and over. You can have up to three of these Toads in your inventory as well. And then we just wait for the Chompies to appear. And then we use the Rudy 2D point and shooty on it. And now we're at 306 KC. You remind me of pigeons, like once you run up to them, they all just like run away from you. <laughs> me when my tendies are late. We're running a bit low on the arrows here, so we're actually going to have to end up making some more. Uh, so we've done about 450 KC since we've started. We have about 250 more to go, plus we're going to need more going for the pet as well. So just going to drop a bunch of these bellows here, and then we could chop these achi trees, or aki trees, or achy trees. Oh wait, we could just buy them from the shop here. I totally knew that. How much are these? Oh, that's really cheap too. Just kidding, we're, we're just buying the logs instead. And we fletch them into the arrow shafts. You could see, like, you barely get any shafts for each of these logs that you fletch, and this whole process is pretty tedious, although luckily one arrow does go a pretty long way. Uh, well, the math on that, I think it's like 2.5 Chompy KC that we get per arrow, I want to say. The shop doesn't stock the bows here, but they sell bowstrings, so I guess you could just, like, fletch your own bow from scratch just using this shop. Get it? Scratch? Like the ogre you save for RFD? Thank you, thank you. And we buy some feathers and we can make them into flighted, is that what they're called? Flighted ogre arrows. Wait, you use like multiple feathers per arrow shaft apparently. Does it say in the chat box here? Okay, so it's four feathers per arrow. Huh. I like learning new things about the game like this. Like this is something I probably never would have learned otherwise. And then we need wolf bones, but instead of killing wolves, we can take the pacifist route, just like in Undertale. And you could pick up wolf bones instead. There's a couple that spawn right here, you pick them up, and hop worlds and keep on repeating that. And then we use a chisel on them and you can see once again we get very few of these arrow tips and then we can just attach these onto the flighted arrows and 
Here we go, that is the tedious process of making ogre arrows. Of course, if you have a bank, it'd probably be in your best interest to just collect them from brands every day if you plan to camp out the chompies for the hats or the pet or whatever. But I don't want to wait, I just want to get this done now. And now we're at over 300 more arrows, let's get the bellows back and then we can finish up the last 250 chompy KC for the diary. We are only three chompies away now from being done. Uh, if we look at the XP rates right here, uh, this took about 6 hours to get the 700 KC, so a little bit over 100 chompies per hour. Any second now, they're going to start spawning and we can kill the last three and get this diary done. The last chompy, there we go, 1000 KC, let's check the bow to confirm. Yep, we are an ogre expert. We can claim the hat from Rants now to prove it. All right, can I have a hat, please? Now I think I just hold down spacebar and then he's going to give us a bunch of hats. And we should get a few new ones, which should unlock some new collection log slots as well. So as soon as he's done here, we got four new collection log slots. And I also skipped through uh, the confirmation that that was the last task for... The Western Provinces Diary. As we're going over to the Elder Gnome Child to claim the rewards, I'll put all the rewards up on screen. So we get the Western Banner 4 with unlimited teleports to Piscator's Fishing Colony, which is good for some clue steps. And the guy there acts as a bank and the general store, which is useful for certain things for UIMs, like unnoting stuff, cutting gems, and selling them back to him, for example. Once you have the Elite Diary done, you have a chance to get the Chompy Chick Pet, which you cannot get until you have the Diary done. Um, and previously with the Medium Diary, there there's a 50% chance of spawning two chompies when you put the toad out, um, but now there's a guaranteed chance that if you spawn one, you actually will always spawn two. So it's gonna make the process of actually getting the chompy chick a bit faster. Uh, of course, we get the XP lamp, which I'm gonna put into prayer. 50k XP. I pretty much always use Duradel for Slayer, but if for some reason I did ever go to uh, Neve, um, we would get the extra points to match Jordel. So we would get 15 points instead of 12 points. And then we also get a free revive once per day at Zora, which is very important for hardcore Iron Man. And then if you use Zora as a death storage, I guess that could be a bit annoying. But like, if you're at the point where you have the Western Elite Diary done, like there's no way you'd still use Zora as a death storage. It's like the worst one pretty much. So if I ever do go back to Zora, if I go for like the jar or if I'm just doing it for bingo or something, if I do die there, well, I have one extra life per day, so I won't actually die which saves quite a bit of time because it is kind of a bit of a process you know getting the looting bag back and all that but even more importantly than all that we now have all the diaries done we can now oh, i have to grab money huh we can buy the diary cape now have to grab out 99k here let's turn the music up too i feel like there's probably gonna be some kind of music when we buy the cape from twiggy all right can i get a cape like yours 99k here you go Oh, dude, yes, the freaking diary cape. It's been so freaking long. It's about time that I finally stopped milking the dairy cape. Sorry, that was cheesy. It really was utterly terrible. Yes, I've been writing these jokes down for many, many months now. Anyways, this is a really long emote, so enjoy the rest of it. To trim the cape, we have to have all the quests done, and then they just recently released, um, or like re-released Night at the Theater, so I have to do that at some point. We'll do that soon, but it's about freaking time. I've seriously been so close to getting this cape for such a long time, I just needed to get it done, and we got it done today. Now, what are the perks of the Diary Cape? Well, if we right-click it, you can see the option right here is Teleport, and this Teleport option is actually a very, very big form of transportation. It's a lot bigger and more important than you might think, so if we click Click on teleport. This can actually teleport you to any of the diary masters in the game unlimited times. It used to be uh, five times per day. Let me actually check the wiki. As of August 12, 2020, they made it unlimited. It used to be only five though. Like if you just look at the list here, there's so many freaking different places we can teleport to. But on top of all these teleports, there's kind of like a hidden feature that you might not know about unless you really think about it. So for example, we can teleport here to Two Pines, and then from Two Pines, we can claim the cloak, and then the cloak itself also has two more teleports. And there's so many different teleports on this cape that take you to a specific person, and then from that person, like Jar right here, we can claim the amulets. 
And then from the amulet, we again have two more teleports that we can go to, or we teleport to Pirate Jackie the Fruit, and we could go talk to her. We ask for the Karamja gloves, and you know, once again, a couple more teleports on the Karamja gloves. I mean, I think you get the point. There's just so many freaking like teleports that all come just from this cape. Probably good for a lot of like clue locations too. Like if you're just grinding out clues, you probably want to keep this cape in your inventory at least. If you don't have the construction cape, but you have the diary cape, here's a really useful thing that you could do. You can use the Fremnik teleport to throw it in. And if you have your house set to Relica, it's like a budget construction cape pretty much because you could just teleport straight to your POH essentially. But yeah, there's probably like a bunch of other things like this that you can do with a cape. Just so many really cool niche uses for it. And it's just such a really cool cape. I feel like you don't really see people wearing it too often. I'm not sure how much I would actually wear the cape, but I feel like it's a cool cape to wear to like maxing parties or 99 parties or something. Although then again, I feel like the uh, champion's cape might be a little bit more of a flex, but still a really cool cape to have. I'm very glad that I got done and uh, now we can start hunting for the Chompy Chick Pet. And it looks like we achieved the Diary Cape in about 367 days and 8 hours of in-game time. So I wouldn't exactly call this account a Diary Cape Rush. Now when you kill a Chompy Bird, there's a 1 out of 500 chance to receive it, but there's also a 1 out of 500 chance to get the pet if you pluck the bird afterwards as well. So if you're killing and plucking them, it'd be 2 out of 500. However, if we go over to this page over here, uh, there's these different hats and these are on the collection log so we have up through ogre expert at the moment i would like to theoretically eventually get all these unlocked one day i don't know about these last few but may maybe one day but uh, I, I'm not going to pluck them is what I'm trying to say because I'd like to get as many kills as possible. So I'm not going to waste time plucking the Chompies when it doesn't actually progress me towards this last one. Oh, and my buddy Puff said I should play the clip of me saying that I'm going to go for the Diary Cape when I first got the Quest Cape. But it's so far back that I really don't want to find it. So he said he'll find it for me. So 140, let's go. 140. Well, apparently I like my own video. I swear I stopped doing that a long time ago here. I'll unlike it. All right, 140. The next major long-term goal is going to be the Diary Cape. And today we have achieved the goal on the ultimate Iron Man. And now that this long grind is over, I think the next goal on the account is going to be to achieve the Quest Cape. But first, the Chompy Chick, hopefully. Hey, just remember though, if no one else got you, Puff got you. See, Puff pretends to be really nice, but he's actually secretly super toxic. Out of the whole group, I know for a fact that I am 100% undeniably the least toxic person out of the group, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I can already tell these chompies are coming in a lot faster, a lot more uh, in bulk than they were before getting the diary done. There's so many of them. And this bow fires so slowly. Hey, at least now when I misclick on the chompies, I don't have to feel bad like I'm wasting time because at least it's a chance for a pet, but I mean, Theoretically, on the way to 4k chompies, I mean, we, we would statistically get the pet multiple times, so not worried about not getting it. Although I say that now, we'll see what happens. Oh, I haven't been to Redwoods for a while. I've been doing a lot of sacred eel fishing, so it feels good to be back here now, especially with my infernal axe. You could saw I just uh, burnt the log right there. I've had the dragon axe for such a long time. After going back to Slayer kind of recently, we got another uh, dragon axe, so this is pretty much fully charged now. Ready to make the AFK grind even slightly more AFK. All right, got a couple clue scrolls to open here from wood cutting. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, dude, no freaking way, Cape of Skulls. <laughs> okay, dude, uh, when you put that on, we get a, a skull. What the heck, dude? That was literally the last thing I was expecting. Okay. Dude, imagine I got ranger boots right there. That's freaking insane, dude. And it's a collection log slot, too. You average three rolls per easy clue, and this is the drop rate per roll for each of these items. So for most items, it's about 1 in 1.4k. And if we go all the way down here, there's some uh, that's 2.8k. Looks like Monk's Robe G is the rarest item that you can get. It's 1 out of 14k, but... I think that's the second rarest, right? Any of these uh, team capes or cape of skulls, one out of 5.6k per roll, which is one in 1872 easy clues if you divide that by three. That's so freaking cool though, dude, the cape of skulls. Yeah, it's definitely the most valuable item though in terms of GE value. For sure, that was definitely not what I was expecting to happen tonight. What the heck, dude? I just wanted to like casually open clues and then I had some stuff to show with the diary cape, but... Wow, all right, Um. and that is of course store, is it, does that go in the cape rack or in the treasure chest? I'm gonna guess the treasure chest, but 
We'll try in here first just to see. Yeah, okay. That should in fact go nicely into here. Yep. I wanted to show you some more uses of the diary cape or more like uses of these teleports um, that I learned about. So if we teleport to Pirate Jackie the fruit here, I didn't point out before that this is close to a spirit tree right over here within clicking distance. You could use the spirit tree. So if you have a spirit tree in your POH, um, this would be especially useful to get back to your house. Or if we use the teleport to go over to the Zara area right over here, uh, this is kind of close to a fairy ring also within clicking distance, but there's one other actually that might be a bit closer. If you go to the Mauritania teleport, uh, this should also be close to a fairy ring. Yeah, this is probably even a bit closer. So once again, if you have a fairy ring in your POH, this could also be a way to get back to your house if you don't have a construction cape. But yeah, I don't know. There's probably like a bunch more uses as well for the achievement cape, or at least like being especially useful for UIM. And on the way to grab the bellows, we're also going to claim our daily arrows from Rant, which previously it was 100 with the hard diary, but now it should be 150 with the Elite Diary, nice. Back to the hunt for the Chompy Chick, and I'll probably just go beyond that till I run out of arrows, just because I want to get as much KC as possible. You know, I wanted to keep as much stuff in Hisporia as possible, but I think I will switch to the Anguish. I've been putting it off for long enough, but I think I'm going to grab it out of Hisporia and equip that instead. Even though, obviously, the Trim Glory is much more of a flex, because anyone can just, like, get an Anguish, you know, you just kill a few Demonic Gorillas, but the Trimmed Amulet of Glory, you have to do a bunch of clues and get lucky, and, you know, not everyone can be lucky. I feel like I haven't shown Hisporia for a while, so here's all the items that we have in here, so pause if you want. And what the heck, dude, 11.2 mil. Do your easy clues, kids. This is why. I guess you could say the same thing about the lottery too, but it's different, okay? I just thought of another close fairy ring with the diary cape. Uh, if you teleport to the wilderness diary person, oh, that's not too far either from the fairy ring. I think the campus one is the closest though. Oh, there's the chompy chick. Okay, wait, let's check the KC. It was 1226. So 226 kills after we were able to start getting it. So about half the drop rate, a little bit under half the drop rate. Look, he's so cute. All right, well, let's uh, go grab some GP and go insure him. I like how in the chat box here we have, uh, wait, let me get rid of that. We have the chompy chick and then if we go up, there's the cape of skulls. Oh, I love it. And of course, the Chompy Chick is also a new slot for the collection log. Whenever I get a Chompy Chick on any account, I always just like see him as the same name. I always just give him the name Sue. And he's now been insured for 500k GP and uh, is pet number 12 on the account. But yeah, like I said, I think we'll just keep going till we run out of arrows or something. Even then, maybe I'll make more. I don't know. I'll see how I'm feeling because that's still another like 700 more chompy kills or something. Well, it looks like we have pretty much run out of arrows now. We only have two left. But luckily, if we look at the in-game time right here, it's just about midnight. So in just a couple minutes, we can claim 150 more arrows and then keep on going with the chompies. Uh, we're currently at 1965 KC, and I feel like I've been here for so freaking long. You know, I think the thing about hunting Chompy is why this feels like extra, like, dreadful to me, is the fact that we don't really gain XP by doing this, so, like, the only real progress I'm making is, like, eventual collection log and completionist progress, I guess. In terms of XP gains, though, all I really get out of doing this is, like, 5 to 6k range XP per hour. So progress is progress, although this kind of progress is a little bit harder to just see. Although I guess you kind of do get the hats to prove it. Although the hats aren't storable in the POH, so I'd have to grab them every time. Although then again, I don't think people even know what the hats mean or like what each color like feather amounts even signify anyway, so it's whatever though. There we go, it's midnight. That is... I'm gonna re-log. And now we should be able to claim 150 arrows. Nice. And I was just doing the math. Uh, 150 arrows should last me about three hours of hunting chompies, so three more hours of this and then we're gonna move on. Oh, there's there's the second message, the funny feeling like we would have been followed. Pet number two at 2027 KC. So that's 1000 chompies with two pets. We're pretty much exactly on the drop rate with that second pet. I was hoping I could go like three times the drop rate without getting it so that way I could build up RNG for the pets I don't actually have yet. Man, I can't believe I just wasted my RNG like that. My goal is to one day be the first person to die and wipe to the bloated toads when hunting chompies. Well, that is going to be pretty much all the arrows used up. So let's go ahead and check the KC now. Is uh, 2,280, which is perfect, kind of, because if we look at the list here, 
uh, we will be unlocking the Dragon Archer hat. So it just leaves the one for 3k KC and the one for 4k KC, which I don't know if slash when I will eventually go back to do that because that's like probably 15 hours or something to get both of these unlocked. I could just go like grab the arrows whenever I'm really bored or something and then spend a couple hours hunting. Ooh, Dragon and Fling. Then spend a couple hours hunting choppies, maybe. Uh, oh wow, okay. Let's claim the hats once again from uh, Rance over here. You have to like claim all of them when you want to claim them from him, so it kind of just goes in order every single time, but we will have a couple new ones unlocked, right? Three, three new hats unlocked. Three more slots for the collection log, and now I can drop all of them right in front of his face. We have spent about 20 hours in this video hunting chompies, and this is the hat that we have to show for it. And probably no one will know what this means or how much time you have to spend to get this, but this is what we unlocked, and I'm very proud of myself. Now I can go ahead and drop that, and we can get back to AFK woodcutting. Apparently just today I've spent like 7 hours hunting chompies, and all I really have to show for it is like 40k range XP. But, you know, I guess it's just uh, the life of doing completionist stuff. Okay, had a nice solid night of woodcutting, but now it's time to go ahead and do the last quest to achieve the quest cape on the ultimate Iron Man. But first, we have to get the looting bag back because I think there's a few dangerous scenarios in there. Oh god, oh yes, please bite me. <laughs> okay, so for night at the theater quest, uh, the only last item that we have to buy is the Ivandis Flail for 20k, which we can just buy right down here. And because we've done Theater of Blood before, I believe we don't actually have to do it during the quest. There should be an option to skip it once we get to that point. And so we begin the very last quest on the Ultimate Iron Man. Oh, new music track, getting closer and closer to the music cape. Dude, I swear something in the quest or the cutscenes or something turn the roofs on, you know, like uh, when you toggle the roof. It does that. I swear the quest automatically did that to me like twice now. All right, let's see what boss we have to fight next. No. This quest is incompletable for me. What the heck? All right, well, I guess I'm not getting the quest cape. I'm not going to be trimming the diary cape. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.